This is Final Fantasy Origin, The Stranger of Paradise. Welcome uh, back, everybody. Uh, where are we in the narrative? I've, I'm having some trouble following this narrative, although I understand a bigger picture. But I'm a little lost on what exactly our character's roles entirely is with the whole Luthanian control of Cornelia plot and how much they know is going on. I'm just a little out of the loop on that. I hate to admit it, but I understand a general plot. So last time we finished things here in Vigilia Court, the wacky hotel that's from Final Fantasy XV, as far as we could tell. Uh, we fought a big old behemoth there, which I don't know what the story significance of that was either, but when Jack used his uh, soul purge crystallization thingy on the behemoth, that just powered it up into a bigger monster, which then we beat up anyway. So, ah. But uh, yeah, we cleared that, and... Why are we going to this next place after clearing that spot? I, I, I don't know. We'll just roll along with it, okay? We'll, we'll figure it out as we continue the game. But there's one more side mission we need to do here in Vigilia Court. We gotta do, do the Avenger to get a, a new job for Ash. Here lie the memories of a lost soul, the soul of a stranger. The arms of his fallen friends lay somewhere in this place, each an accusation of his failure to protect them. To honor his friend's memory, he sought to recover their effects, yet diabolical mechanisms and fearsome monsters stimmied his efforts. That's right, I managed to read that whole sentence. Nevertheless, he pushed forward to find the site of his friend's demise, the items bearing their heraldry scattered on the floor. He stepped forward to claim them when he froze. Too late he realized this was a trap to lure him to his doom. Soon his arms too lay bloodied on the floor. Now the spirit of this stranger lingers here, consumed by its inability to make amends for his friend's deaths. It suffers, desperately hoping for someone to free it from the shackles of its regrets. Groovy. I don't know, I feel like we've done everything in this level, because we did the whole let's do the side, the side mission being let's do the whole level backwards thing. We did that last time when we cleared the dark rifts, so what, what, what could be next? Oh, it's another treasure hunt mission, acquire ogre killer. So this mission could, like, be over lickety-split, or it could drag on for a while, who knows. Well, let's go. I looked at this, that I thought this was like a king-size bed at first, like, the, the shine on top of the table kind of made it look like a bed sheet. <laughs> that, that would be weird. Why would there be a bed in the middle of a hotel lobby? Silly guy. Oh, oh. Extra evil looking flans. Flan princess! Ooh. Charming! Oh, die easily. So if we're super lucky, this guy will just drop the ogre ogre killer and, and we win. We I because we did one mission like this, where the, where the goal was to find the treasure. And like it, it just dropped off an enemy. I remember that that happened. It it wasn't like I thought we'd have to like scavenger hunt for like a hidden treasure, but that was not the case. Oh, we didn't get lucky quite here yet, so we came in through there. There's giant crossroads here. Try and keep order. Wait a second, I see that door over there. Look at this thing. Oh, what? That's not an exploding door? Huh. That really looks like something you could break down. Nope. It's just a door to mess with you, apparently. I, d I don't know how to get through that door. Maybe it's put there so you can't access that part of the level for reasons, like... They want, you, they want to keep you, like, focused on, like, certain parts of this level. Maybe. But, uh... I have to let it be for now. Come on, Overkiller. Nope. Take that. I guess the flip side is this might also go on for a while in case no enemy randomly decides to drop the ogre killer. So we just we'll just play it and hope for the best. Enemy spotted. Come on, follow me. That's not gonna do anything using fire on these grenados. Ah I don't think so. Got him all. At least we have time to take a breather. 
There's okay. awful stomping somewhere over there. Scaring me a little bit. I don't remember this area. It's like climb upstairs. I actually forget this part of the level when we did this last time. There, there's the big stompy lad. Light him up. Ooh. Nice job, guys. Tying down that gigas. And poetic if this fellow dropped the ogre killer, being a bit of an ogre. Oh, what was this done, Un? Well, that was my new move, wasn't it? Uh, uh, that was like some kind of shooty move, right? Hold on. Right, that was a new move we got. Okay, gotta remember to use that at some point, because it looks exciting. Huh, ooh. Okay, I see now kind of where we are in this level. We are... In, we were in this part with the lovely view outside. Okay, feeling it. Sha! Stop and splat! Oof! I remember that these flans are surprisingly tough, right? They got kind of a nasty, yes, nasty moves, and don't seem to like stop very easily. Oh, this is straight up lore. The entity known as Chaos did not exist in this world originally. In truth, it can only manifest when a number of conditions are met. Ample darkness generated by distortions, a warrior's will, burgeoning emotions, and all of the above binding themselves inextricably to a dark crystal. Only then can Chaos emerge to wrest away the power of the crystals. It bears to reason then that the mythical warriors of light too may not exist natively, but require an external catalyst. This is merely an educated guess, but I believe with the radiance of a healthy crystal, an appropriate medium, a dark crystal would do most nicely, and a warrior's will. No, I shouldn't waste any more time on this trifling matter. The answer is clear to me, after all. The only heroes capable of freeing Cornelia from Lufinia's vile grasp are Jack, Sophia, Neon, Ash, and Jed. Of that, I have no doubt. Still rattling off all of our heroes there. How exactly we're supposed to do that when I feel like we aren't even doing anything to fight? Lufinia? I, I have no idea. I'm kind of getting, honestly, the energy of... Ooh, what was it? Um, the energy of... Oh god, my brain is breaking here. Uh, Final Fantasy Type-0, where... I thought that the revelation of the enemy at the end was very abrupt, like, very end of just, like, some enemies I had no idea about decided to just kind of show up at the end and be a menace. Ooh. Ah! Alright, there's a big Don Doon to get with several guys, that's where you want to use that move. Use a freaking health item, heaven's sake. Or we got a gigant axe, but not the not the ogre killer. Whoa! We're looking for. Boy, there was a lot of a lot of skeletons in this room. Nope. Ah, no treasure from this guy either. Oh. Okay, now, I, yeah, I kind of do recognize where we are now, but does this wrap back to where we were earlier? I, I can't tell. Ugh, Pisco Damon, huh? Oh, hey! I think, I think I know where we are now. That, that busted up door was the busted up door I was looking at earlier. Yeah? So this whole goal was to destroy this pillar of light here, I guess, to access the one energy barrier we saw earlier? Okay. I'm feeling it. 
In which case, that area over there is open. Yes, that's where we came through. Did I, did I miss anything over here? Anything in addition? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that turned out handy. I'm not going to go back there really quickly, though, because there's still this branch that I never picked to check. I didn't realize we'd be wrapping around over there when I picked that route, so... I want to have a look down this pad as well. Or, wait, no, hold on. I did take this path. This is the same... I'm just going back the same route I went, aren't I? Well, then... Hold on. No, that looked very familiar, yeah? What well, was over... Did I, did, did I forget to check this? Then? Huh? Oh, no, I did, but there was just a chest here. Huh? Wow, I got turned... Or I could swear I missed, like, a branch somewhere. It was in my brain, like, when I get back... Or if I, at some point I have to backtrack, there's, like, a branch I missed. But I Oops, over there. was apparently very wrong about that. All right. I don't really need anything here with the swordsman anymore. We got everything here. I can't quite get to that dragoon over there. Here's the warrior. That's Liberator and Dark Knight, which are these, like, endgame guys. Let's go for Liberator first, just because it's a little simpler. You only need two advanced classes to get to that. All over here, so same with this Paladin. We only need... In fact, we can almost get Paladin. Actually, we can get Paladin right now. Oh my god, hold on. We unlocked the Paladin. Wow. Control your HP to turn defensive strength into offensive power. Paladins have access to the Holy Fang ability, which allows you to recover HP while it is active whenever you land a hit. Not only that, but you'll deal additional holy damage when your HP is at max. Wow! That's very handy. Let's just get on that, I guess. Um, so, Void Knight was fun. But let's check out this Paladin real quickly, yeah? Recover HP when landing a hit. Deals additional... MP gradually depletes while active. Aha, uh -huh. so we turn on this HP recovery mode, but our MP will go down. It's a bit of a... Bit of a, um, how do you say, uh, risk-reward thing, but... Ooh, look at that. Dawn stole. Looking very mysterious, but this gallant suit actually kind of works with that. I dig this look. I dig it a lot. It's funny how well the Dusk stuff goes with the Dawn stuff. It, it just works fine, I feel like. Very funny. Anyway, Masamune gave us Danun, and we got the Enhancer, which has Blessed Blade and Sacred Blade. Oh, Sacred Blade, huh? Okay. Seems like an alright move. Let's put that there. Oh yeah, and then everybody else's gear as well. Hold on now. Okay, I think we... Oh, that jaunty hat. I love a good jaunty hat. Dusk hat looks sick. Very well suiting gear. The shoes look a little silly, I have to say. The big, kind of, kind of almost like a Sentai hero shoes there. Bit exaggerated, but yeah. All right. So if I hit, right, that starts eating up, but that will return health. There we go. Let's just quickly rest here to get that back. Damn, we finally got another expert class. I wasn't sure we could ever work our way up to this, but here we are. Can't complain. Ooh. Okay, I'm really hoping that eventually you do get an ogre killer, like the item you're looking for, like it drops inside a chest or something, or otherwise, I don't know, we're just gonna be reloading these enemies all the damn time. Oh yeah, holy damage. Clear these guys right up. Turn... Oh! Oh! There we go. 
think we restored some health there, maybe? I missed how much we restored, but... It's fine. Hmm. Still no item. There's a chest over there, so I'd bet money that if there is a, uh... Chest with the treasure we're looking for, it's in that... It's at the end there, like that chest there, which is beckoning us over. Uh-huh. Another one we can blow up. This time we're on the right side. What? Oh, no! Yeah. Hey, another potion. Yay. Really? I think we're doing fine. I don't understand these context like voices sometimes in terms of like are we doing bad or good Let's oh go. boy that is that actually a pisco demon because i think the coloring is a little different what is this guy i, I might just be imagining but it's just a straight up mind flayer oh that's awesome and again i'm not sure if that's cool with uh you know, Wizards of the Coast, the owners of Dungeons and Dragons, but... Okay. Ow! Holy, oh, that's a little too easy to just turn off and turn on that holy thing. I'm kind of losing serious uh, MP there. Bit of my own problem with my... Uh... Discipline there for sure, but still. Haha, <laughs> vandalism. Oh yeah, doesn't breaking random stuff give you... Yeah, it does give you MP. A little weird, but sure. Oh, jeez. This big guy. Well, this will open up a path back. I'm pretty sure we What's saw this guy? earlier. Okay. okay. Oh, I don't have any MP. Oh, no. Right, that's a mad Gigas, not a hill Gigas. I think I kind of walked into that one like a fool. Thankfully, we opened up the path, so... It is not a difficult job to get up to this guy's face. Don't tell me we gotta wait the whole time. Oh, that's obnoxious. This is some Dark Souls elevator stuff where you want to, like, pre-set it up. For when you die and need to go back. Oh, boy. Yep, okay. So, yeah, now the path is right here, and here's this dude. That's handy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, that had a... That had follow-up to it, huh? Okay, that was pretty cool, though. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Crush. Ah! Oh boy, this mad Gigas is uh... He's a customer, for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, this elevator. This punishment with the elevator is obnoxious. Not sure if I should deal with the bombs first. To, like, uh, have less ads. I feel like the bombs aren't really focusing on me that much, though, so... Or grenades, if you will. <sighs> okay, okay. It's fine. Okay. All right, he tough guy. Look strong. Stay cool, Jack. Oh, ooh, didn't grab me, huh? We're in for it now. Just getting warmed up. Oh, that's a mighty blow. 
Oh, jeez. This guy has, like... He says he three or four different, like, unblockable moves, and a lot of them go on for a while. Wow. Uh, okay. Man, we gotta kill this ogre before we can get ogre killer, because, like, woof. Yes, my hopes of this being a quick mission are certainly being dashed. We're, uh, 20 minutes into the episode at this point, and, uh... Still doing this goddamn side quest. This... <laughs> This really is the Hotel Cornelia. You can check out at any time, but you can never leave, or whatever that lyric is. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up for the uh, episode title. Ah, okay. Here comes that power attack. Okay. Oh my god, with the... Oh, this guy's just got a, a, a solution for everything I throw at him. Oh my god, I'm going to follow up to that move. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I remembered all the moves, but no. That ain't gonna help me when he does that many moves right back at me. God, look at his freaking, uh... His bar. Oh, no! His, uh, what is it? His, like, stamina bar. It's, like, completely... Un oh, that's got a freaking move that... Okay, I think the grenades are dead at least. Oh my goodness. Because they're not attacking me anymore, so the fellas got got the... Wow. I remember the Mad Gigas being rough that one time, but oof. Now, if I wasn't paying attention at this point, I'd be like, What the hell? There's a freaking end of the road. What is this? But I did notice that there was, in fact, a pillar of light here for activating those barriers that, I guess, Neon and Jed cut down while I was getting whomped by that Giga. So it should be, like, right back over here. Let's go. Yep. There we go. That actually healed up quite a bit using the Holy Fang and Blessed Blade. Like, like you see how... Okay. Like, because I was like, I don't have any potions left, so I gotta use these tricks of mine to get my health back, and it worked. Like, super worked. So this is the path open now, and there's... Oh. A couple more things to find, I guess. Lucky. No ambush here. And that's the Ogre Killer. Okay, so that actually was a treasure hunt, properly. I could swear when we did it last time, it just randomly dropped off an enemy, the item we were hunting for. But this time we actually did have to do a proper scavenger hunt through the through the level. Which I guess is nice, but also I was kind of primed for that being a quick run-through, so this was kind of, yikes, this taking as long as it did. Ah well, I, I am not going to be too mad. Fight against Mad Gigas was pretty exciting. That was basically a mini boss there. Being put our way, so. Alright, Paladin, what can we work for here? Kree is more HP? Yes, please. Are there any new moves we will get here? There's Heavy Bash. Requires a shield, but that's exactly what I'm rocking, so Shield Surge. Huh, there are in fact moves we could get, like change up our, like, Abilities that we do here. Okay. Shielding Axe. Oh, interesting. I think I just now noticed that the, the, the round things are like enhancements and then the hexagons are like completely new moves. Is that right? 
I think that's what it is. Finally paying attention to those symbols I am. Uh-oh. We swapped out the enhancer and we lost the nice moves. Oh, no. What a lame situation. Well, we'll just have to rock these moves then. Oh, no, we also lost that super fun Dunun here. Oh, gosh. Fine. Okay, and... Over here is our Tyrant, but let's make him a Liberator! Creates an area which decreases damage taken by allies and gradually restores their HP. Oh, that's an amazing ability. Mighty Guard. Hmm. Might have to try that Liberator eventually as well, if we can just get to it. But that's gonna take us a while, I'm sure. Groovy. All right. Oh, and also, hold on. So we are next going to Terra Tortura. Mission level is 112. We're feeling a little under leveled at 105, but I think we'll be okay. There we go, 112. And let's bring in the other two for this main mission. I don't think they were there when we did Vigilia Court, like, main mission. Were they? I can't remember. Whatever, let's just take them in. Terra Tortura, the suffering of fools. Jack realizes that his sense of purpose, his hunger to destroy chaos, is gone. Whether that is because they defeated all the fiends or because of something else, he does not know. With the Dark Crystal no longer functioning, the party has no choice but to resign themselves to the black mist that appears whenever they defeat monsters. Engulfed once again in darkness, Jack realizes that he was born in Lufenia, and this truth causes his mouth to twist into a pained smirk. <clears throat> The bats chitter excitedly around him, and he begins to think that maybe they too have some relation to Rulfenia. The party presses on. This next level looks rough. I mean, Terra Tortura sounds like tortured land, you know, so that's what that looks like. We, oh boy. This game isn't that much uh, Dark Soulsy, I wouldn't say. This is more a little bit more fast-paced one. It takes some liberties from that genre. But this level looks like when you start getting close to the end of a Dark Souls. The kind of nightmare scenery you start seeing in those later levels, I feel like. So I'm a little worried. Let's see. They call this place a facility. A facility. <laughs> it's like calling a planet a rock. Accurate, yes. But it does not do it justice. An island. A massive continent. It was chosen this time for the vast stores of quasi-magical energy stored here. In Dimension 6, where legend of this land still linger, it is a harbinger of the end times. Likely as not, the energy lying untapped here has something to do with that. Though the sum of darkness grows ever greater, if you, my dear friend, can make it here, perhaps this time. Oh, we're finally in the Final Fantasy VI level, and I guess it's... Wow, my, my, my memory of the latter half of Final Fantasy VI is so bad, so I'm just like, it, it Was it just called the Floating Continent, or something else the name of the area that we're referencing here? But that's cool. Let's go in there. Oh my god. I don't remember it being this dire there, though. In six. The Lufenians sent me here. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? And where, where did this desperate urge to eradicate chaos come from? Jack, if this is what we think it is, if this really came from our homeland, from Lufenia, then they must already know what's going on here. Astos, he's not just monitoring and recording the status of the darkness. He's reporting back to his superiors. Uh -oh. Let's kill these monsters and pry some answers out of him. We worked it out. It must be him. Well, that makes sense, I guess. He is the guy who seems to know everything and is just kind of playing us along, so... Yeah, I guess that's not a super huge shock. What I do kind of like, though, is... Wow, Jack did not seem like the kind of guy to question his purpose in life, the way that is happening now. Oh, this is an interesting level, wow. Oh, 
Like, you know, the, the whole memes of him just being like, I want to kill Chaos. But now he actually is questioning, why don't I want to kill Chaos anymore? And why did I ever want to in the first place? Off in that direction, which means that's where we'll find Astos. Good. That'll save us time. Let's go. So, I, you know, I kind of like it. 